Welcome to my channel. Come on in, settle down, grab you some water, a few snacks. This video might be a little lengthy because we are talking about Child's Play. And if you don't know what Child's Play is, then of course you might know of Chucky. And if you don't know who Chucky is, then you might know of course Bride. Of course Bride, why not I met Bride of Chucky. A lot of people know about Chucky, a lot of people know about Child's Play. Um, it's an infamous name and we are here to talk about that movie today. So I took a bunch of notes on my laptop just because last time I made a video like this I was kind of all over the place but I was also thriving off of like three hours of sleep so we're gonna just ignore that for now. Truly and honestly like I say in almost every video I was never really a horror kid growing up but my mother heavily was so I definitely saw this movie like while I was peeping around my bedroom door trying to see what she was watching and then I would also peep my head back inside my door because I'm like oh it's a scary movie we gonna leave that over there you know getting older as I'm becoming more into film and learning how to write horror and stuff I've been kind of on like a horror film rampage I've just been watching like every horror movie to mankind I also just finished prom night and um I finished hello Mary Lou so I'm on to finishing the third movie hopefully I can get to that but yeah, Child's Play is one of those movies that I knew wouldn't necessarily be scary, but would have me laughing and like, I would enjoy. But we're going to get to that. I'm not going to say too much right now. Hopefully in the last 30 seconds, you got your snacks and your drinks and everything you need for this video. Because we're about to get in the first movie, Child's Play. I really like this movie. I'm not going to lie. And it's crazy because going into the movie, I had zero doubts. The first movie, actually, I've seen like the first few scenes so many times. I've just never sat through the movie. Like, um, I knew his aunt was going to die. I think that's his aunt. But outside of that, I really never watched the movie until now. I think what drew me to this movie the most is my mom telling me that she had a Chucky doll as a child. So really, I was just sitting there like, now I officially have to watch this movie just to see what it was like. Um, and I also wanted a Chucky doll of my own, and I wanted um, The Bride of Chucky. Really all three, and you know, The Sea of Chucky. But I was like, I have to watch the movies first, of course. This is definitely a movie that like my family members had on all the time, like I've said before. Recently, um, I wouldn't say last year, my local cousins even were like, we should watch Chucky. As a child, of course, this movie definitely scarred me a little bit. I was really afraid of my dolls coming alive. Even though I've never watched this movie, I already knew what it was about. But now as an adult, this movie like really is not scary. I kind of suck at seeing what things have gore, what things don't have gore because I've watched so many things that like um have top notch gore. Like what when I say when I mean my top notch is like a lot of gore. For example, the terrifier, I will always use that as an example. Don't if you are someone who really can't handle blood and can't handle like all the guts and stuff, I would say stay away from terrifier. Child's Play One is nothing but jump scares. And even that is mostly suspense build up to those jump scares. So you have like minimum to worry about. What I say is a child friendly movie. I would say it's a parental guided movie, you know, but I really, I really like this movie. Um, it's a cult classic, if not, you know, and no one can really change my mind about that at all. It's a cult classic, definitely. Overall, I gave this movie, I think a nine out of 10 only because I wanted to get more closure at the end. And looking back at it, I guess I definitely would have gave it a 10 out of 10. It's just for some reason, I didn't really like the ending. But that's it. Moving on to Child's Play 2. I think when it comes to movies that have like more than two movies like a trilogy or just a huge franchise i often kind of fail to remember anything about the second movie but uh i really like this movie i think one thing that i was really sad about was andy's mom off bat like i knew she wasn't going to be in the second movie but i really wished that she was and i think it just falls into that trope that i kind of hate of like people not believing people about things you couldn't pay me to ignore a child saying that their doll is running around saying curse words and not believe them. Like, 
I also think during this time I started making way too many Toy Story references. But like, imagine if Chucky came in with Buzz Lightyear and Woody. I think they would definitely have a fit. But that's what kind of made it more like joyful for me because I just thought it was funny again. It's a great funny movie. I wasn't really getting scared. I will say I was a little more spooked than in the first movie, but just like by maybe 5%. Outside of that, same old. Speaking of Toy Story, I don't know why I connected these two, but Andy is literally named Andy. Well, yes! I think my favorite character in this movie would have to be Kylie. I believe that's the character's name. I really loved her style of bat. I don't know why I was attracted to it, but I was like, this is my character. Also, spoiler warning for anybody who hasn't had a spoiler yet. I'm spoiling the movie anytime I do videos like this. Um, I was really happy that she didn't die, necessarily. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we're gonna get to that, though. I also like the way that she treated Andy. Like, she wasn't necessarily too fond of Andy, but she still treated him like a child. And she didn't really make his problems seem like they were just... You know, she treated it as, like, if it was a child having an imagination, but not as, like, some god-awful crime, you know? Kind of like how everyone else did when they were like, oh, you have to stop saying things like that. She was just like, okay. And went about her day and smoked her cigarette. As she should and as she shouts. I think I also like how visual we were getting with Chucky now. Like, he's no longer just a toy. Like, he's a human instead of a toy body turning into a human toy. Toy human, like, yeah. Metamorphosis. We get to see that like towards the ending and everything where he's getting more hurt by his wounds especially stabbings and all of these things that usually toys wouldn't be impacted by or affected by but it's definitely taking a toll on him so that was really good to see um overall i think i gave this movie a 9 out of 10. again it would have been a 10 out of 10 it's just one of those things with the ending like I don't know. I'm gonna try and go back and watch everything that I've watched so far that has to do with horror, like during the fall season. But yeah, nine out of ten for me, and a really great movie. I loved it. Now moving on to Child's Play three. <laughs> Andy goes to military camp. Okay. I really liked the different setting. I was really worried for a second that um, it was just gonna be like a trilogy on him being adopted by different families. And I feel like if, if they would have took that route, I still would have liked it perhaps, but maybe not as much as I like this. Like this was good. I liked the different switch up, you know? And he's older now, he's trying to move on and everything. Like he just wants to start over and brand new and forget about the Chucky stuff. I feel like I really love when you can see production have more fun with their movies and I think for me at least this was definitely kind of maybe not it but them leaning into it or like getting more ideas at the table and coming around and trying new things so that was really fun to see. In the industry I know they have this thing called the bible which is basically nothing but like a big book or like a big um a big binder or something that you kind of keep all your necessities for your <laughs> your movie your show whatever you're writing and it's for like specific people to see i'm guessing again you know correct me if i'm wrong so it just this movie specifically made me wonder like what all they were planning to put in here or like what all they were planning to make in the future and like how that transitioned over into future movies so yeah I don't have much to say about this movie except for it was a really great one and I gave it a 10 out of 10. So moving on to The Bride of Chucky. When I say I was waiting to get to this movie, this right here is the main reason I wanted to watch Chucky. I'm not gonna lie it's the main my priority reason i said i have to get to tiffany valentine i said i have to get to her this honestly i'm not gonna say it's my favorite movie but it has to be one of my favorite movies like 
calm down for getting excited. As soon as I watched this movie or as soon as I heard about this movie, if every time I would see the poster, every time I would see Jennifer Tilly, every time I would see Tiffany Valentine, I was like, I already know. She's an icon. She's a legend. What else is starting to say? I didn't care nothing about Chucky in this movie. The only thing I wanted to be there for was Jennifer Tilly. That's her name, right? I hope so. And when they played Living Dead Girl in the beginning, I was wondering why that song like sounded so familiar, even though I've never watched this movie before. But like I said, my family used to um, play like this movie or like these movies quite a lot around me. Not around me, but just in general. And I was just like, oh, that's why that song is so popular. Not saying that it's not popular like on its own, but you know, main title card type stuff. So yeah, let's, let me get into my notes because I'm, I'm getting excited. Tiffany Valentine is that girl. It will always be that girl. Period! I like how both characters were like low-key, top-notch crazy. So they were like legit made for each other. Like, let's not let's not be delusional here. Jennifer was crazy. Miss Valentine was crazy. Chucky was crazy. They were both cuckoo. And they were also like this as they should be like tiffany definitely deserves better but who else is going to go on the killing street for her i'll wait chuggy definitely got his red flags as a matter of fact he might got all of them but you know also i kind of like the frankenstein reference with the title you know like bride of chucky and bride of frankenstein i don't know if that just happens to be a coincidence I feel like somebody's gonna see this and be like, oh, she thinks she's so smart. She thinks she's like, no, no, I just like that. Sorry, sorry. I've definitely been trying to get into the culture of the Bride of Stick. Um, I was about to say Bride of Frankenstein. Oh my gosh, the Bride of Frankenstein a little bit more. I just watched Lisa, Lisa Frankenstein a few weeks ago, but that's for another video. But um, I reckon there's like a lot of sounds. Um, from media well i recognized a lot of sounds that i heard on the media from this movie so i was really happy about that like um i wouldn't marry you if i had a body of i really like the setting i like the the outfits i love the costumes they reminded me of like hot topic but if i was allowed to go to hot topic as a child or as a teenager that type of thing um i want to say mall golf but i'm not really 100% about like golf subcultures right now and I will not be dragged down on the internet for saying something that's not even right so we're gonna leave that alone. Overall I gave this movie a 10 out of 10. Hands down. Hands down. 10 out of 10. Nobody's touching. Nobody's touching this movie. Nobody's touching Tiffany. Nobody's touching Jennifer. Who? nobody exactly exactly moving on to the next see if checking <laughs> throughout this entire movie i had mixed feelings because like i like the thought of tiffany and chucky having a child together but all together like watching this movie i was just like what like my mind was that one big cloud bubble with like the text in it and it's like what like what like what <laughs> the beginning was a bit confusing for me um i eventually caught on but a lot of things just didn't really add up to me but then again it's talking dolls who kill people so how much can add up until it all starts becoming weird you know if anything throughout this entire movie i laughed nothing was scary about this movie if you don't want to watch anything scary at all you just want to skip through the entire franchise i would say this movie you're not going to be scared at all since there was like really limited limited location here i was really guessing that like the budget on this movie was probably a little low no shame at all i don't even have a movie so i'm not Actually, it really made me want to look up the budget, but I think I got distracted and decided not to look it up, so I'm going to do it now. 
Okay, so I just looked up the budget for this movie and according to Net, according to Network, it says it was about $12 million, the budget for this movie. Shocker to me, but again, not judging because no shame, no shame, we're buying it, we're buying the shame. But then I, it made me curious to go look up a child's play budget and it's actually lower than I expected. I think, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, leave anything in the comments if I'm getting some information wrong, as long as you being respectful, you know. I think I really love to see Jennifer Tilly more in this movie too, as like, you know, this icon and everything. She was really funny, she plays her character really well, so that was great to see. Not much to say about this movie, I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Um, I was really shocked about that when I went to look at my notes, I for sure thought it was like a 7 or whatever. Um, but then again, if a movie can make me laugh easily, it becomes like up here. I don't know why. I love a good laugh. So that's all I have to say about that movie. Moving on to Curse of Chucky. This movie was definitely make or break with me because of the last movie I definitely wanted some more horror and it did not disappoint. I think I wanted this movie to go more into horror because since the last movie was like so much comedy I was afraid that it would fall out of out of the horrific or like horror line and lose the plot as so many franchises tend to do sometimes but that didn't happen at all i was really happy now this movie i have seen a bit more of before this is definitely a movie that my mom had on a lot it's when i was um growing up and once i even sat down and i watched the ending of this movie not knowing anything that was going on and i don't mean like the ending ending i mean like the middle ending like before she went to jail the um when she was in a wheelchair and she got out of her wheelchair to like climb up the stairs so yeah that that's all i saw didn't know anything else that was going on now coming back to this movie i feel like it definitely not only redeemed chucky but also rebranded chucky in this movie i think we're definitely getting more of full-blown horror rather than comedy i barely laughed throughout the movie i was more of like scared like this was actually horrifying to me not horrifying, but scary. Um, let me use, let me calm down. The jump scares were getting more intense and I'm definitely here for it. I also love a lot of the unexpected plot twists throughout the movie. And you guys, you guys know I am a sucker for lore. You should be able to tell by the poster in the bag. You know I'm a sucker for lore. When they dropped all of the lore onto us, about who Charlie, Charlie Lee's Ray, whatever his name is, who he is, and how he became the person he became. I understood it. Um, I think I definitely have to go back and sit down a little bit to like fully understand it, but I understood enough to be like, oh, hold up. Let me, let me pause this. Let me pause this. So, and when we got like the lore of how, or the part about where he, why he was running to the store in the first place. And you know what's crazy? Because I never sat down to think, well, why was he running in the first place? Why was he at that store in the first place? Until this movie. So that actually was crazy because it's something that I got that I didn't know that I needed. And I was really appreciated, appreciative for that. So that happens to be like one of my favorite movies. Not favorite movies. Favorite parts in the movie. There we go. That's different. I think this is also the part where... I kind of just start to realize like Chucky for who he really is, which is a serial killer. You know, he's not like a funny, goofy doll. You know, he actually kill people for real. Like he get down and he don't play. He's like this when it comes to it. This also reminded me of a line that was said in Scream, which is, it's scarier when there's no motive. Because reminder, Chucky's just doing this for pure entertainment. He don't care about nothing else anymore just running off of pure entertainment i want to see blood and guts also here is where i realized that they're for real with their franchise now they're not playing no more goofy this no more goofy that they're down to business and they don't they don't care 
Not to mention, the actors were absolutely amazing. I gave this movie a 12 out of 10. Really loved it. It was great. I loved everything about it. It gave me everything I wanted. So, yeah. I will say in the ending, I was a bit confused. I'm always confused at the end. Let's get, let's get used to that. But we're going to get, we're going to get to that. Moving on to Cult of Chucky. I wasn't expecting much out of this movie, especially because I watched the trailer beforehand and it didn't really give me anything that I thought was just going to be, wow, ooh, you know, it just looked like um, a regular movie to keep the franchise going, which again, isn't a bad thing. And usually you guys, when I sit down and watch movies like this, either I'm up at night or I'm watching movies while I'm cooking. So if you ever wonder like how I'm watching all these movies, that's why. I really like the use of color in here. It was different for me at least. Um, I'm not saying I've never seen it in other movies, but I really like how they use it in here as a contrast to certain things, especially when Chucky entered the room and kind of how like um, he was the elephant, you know, in the room. I think that really made it clear for this movie that nothing else matters except for that aspect like he is the problem and it's very very right in your face that he's a problem but like nobody is really aware also i don't know if it was just me but i feel like the more people started to die the more color we started to see maybe i'm just going crazy but i don't know nothing was bad about this movie it was just a good watch like it was just that a good watch again i love the actress the only thing that confused me i will say is um when Jennifer Tilly, aka um, Tiffany Valentine, called Andy when he was on his way to the the place, and she gave him like I guess a little secret about like bio or something, I don't know. And I but like then he pulled out the weapon from, and I'm like, but how did he? Listen, sometimes I do be getting a little confused, and that's okay. We all get a little confused sometimes. It felt really good to see Andy again. I was so happy about that. And overall, I'll give this movie a 10 out of 10. The ending was great to me. Um, I wasn't expecting what happened to happen. That actually really did shock me. And I just really love that they were leaning more into the horror aspect now rather than comedy. Like, again, I rarely laughed throughout the movie. I would say I probably chuckled a few times. But even then, it was still like, I'm on my I'm on my toes while watching this movie. Moving on to the last movie of this franchise, Child's Play 2019. Can we talk about Child's Play 2019? I was actually really excited for this movie, only to be greatly let down, but like all the way down. I'm sorry. The movie was not good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I never, I don't even know what else to say about the movie besides it wasn't good. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And you know, I'm always down for a good musical. They lost me at the singing. That's when I knew that the plot was gone. And at first I thought I was, I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was tweaking. I was like, maybe I'm just looking for too much now. Maybe I'm just being a movie critique. Maybe I'm just trying to be perfectionist. They could have left about What's his name? They could have left Buddy at the at the factory. He gotta go. I was just like, there's no way this is Chucky. And it wasn't because this is Buddy. I do like the new concept, I would I will admit. At first I was really rocking with it because I was like, you know, it's a new concept, they're trying to bring something new, and he's still the same old thing. But I still wasn't understanding what was going on. I also like that we happened to get another Andy. I really liked that for some reason. Excuse me. And I liked the modern aspect of it. I didn't really like the acting that much. But I have a feeling it wasn't the actor's fault. I'm not going to say too much. But I just have a feeling that it wasn't the actor's fault. I feel like it maybe a smidge of it was a script. A smidge of it was a script. Can we also talk about Brian? Again, it's how you say his name. I mean, he got all the bowls. Bullet Train. Atlanta. Child's Play. He's like, he's definitely one of my favorite actors now. I think what saved this movie a little bit for me was probably the store scene. I feel like you can never really tell where directors get their aspiration from or inspiration from 
because there's so many outlets now but just the really cool part about it but i was getting so many carry vibes from this for some reason and i'm going to try to insert a clip here if i can yeah calm down okay <laughs> Where are you going? It's time to play. play. Lockdown activated. I'm everywhere, Andy. This part was my favorite part of the movie. I think it kind of showed how powerful that buddy really was compared to like how we were seeing throughout the movie and i feel like we would have we should have got that more throughout the movie instead of just this one scene if that makes sense wasn't really the biggest fan of the ending um i don't really know what to say about that it was an okay ending it was good enough i give this movie a 5.5 out of 10. it definitely had its funny moments um overall i just wasn't really rocking with it 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 didn't satisfy what i needed for it to satisfy and i was greatly disappointed so i'm going to start watching the chucky show sometime soon um i said i might wait until september to watch it actually just because it's fall season and that's when i planned on watching a bunch of um shows again so let me know of course if you guys want me to do a video about that and i definitely will but overall, for the entire franchise, I give this franchise a 10 out of 10. Love it so much. Really do. It's, it's great. It's funny. I love seeing little clips of Chucky and just everyone who's involved. Recently, I've been thinking of doing a little bit of updates for Halfway to Halloween. Um, I'm not really sure how to explain Halfway to Halloween because I just really thought of what it was about a few months ago. And I'm really not just getting into that. So I would love to participate in that if you guys think I should, of course, comment that down below. But yeah, I have more videos coming up and usually I do a bunch of videos around fall season just because that's my favorite time of the year. So look out for those. If you haven't already, make sure you drink your water, make sure you eat today. It's hot outside, go get some sunscreen. And overall, thank you for watching and tuning in. Bye! Love yous.